I was grabbing pastries from my favorite bakery spot, Take It Easy Roasters. Today, they had homemade Pop-Tarts that were kiwi and lime flavored. They were delicious. On my way leaving, I saw this place called Half Bird, and I was like, hey, let me stop here. The kitchen manager recognized who I was, and I got him saying this on video. Say it one more time for me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now, this is gonna be the best chicken in Vegas, and the best chicken that you've had. All right. I got it, let's try it, and rate it one through 10. I spent $56.08. Richard, who was the kitchen manager, called his VP head of operations and tried to have me take a whole bag of stuff that I didn't order. I politely declined. I don't want any special service when I go into these places. And I've reiterated that like a hundred times. That's why I usually go in disguise. But again, I was just driving past and I saw it and I was like, hey, let's try it. So let's try it. Spicy cheese fries. That's cool. It's not a fry, it's like a home smashed potato, but I like these. They are seasoned well and they are unique. I like those. That gives a 7 out of 10 for me. I have social anxiety, so I don't eat inside of restaurants. So yes, that would taste better if it was fresh. But I wouldn't like it as much because I'd be freaking out because I'm in public. I like to be in the comfort of my own home. One order of butcher wings. It came in a three-piece and it's rotisserie chicken. And it came with a side of green curry ranch. Okay, wait. Let me get the chicken by itself. That is really good chicken, but it's super salty though. The name of the place is Half Bird Chicken and Beer. So with beer, I hear you eat a lot of salty things, so that makes sense. But as is, that's too salty for me. That's like a 7.5 out of 10. It was good at first and then I swallowed it. It hit my chest like real hard. A Half Bird, which is a rotisserie half chicken. I'm really hoping it's not as salty. Ooh, that thing fall off the bone though. I see where he was coming from. In my opinion, is it the best chicken in Vegas? No. Is it one of them? Absolutely. It separates itself from a lot of chicken spots out here because a lot of chicken spots are just fried chicken. That being rotisserie, real garlic forward, real flavorful, that's an 8 out of 10 for me. It's real juicy, it's moist, it's falling off the bone, it's flavorful. I see where you're coming from. A tingling chicken salad, it has Szechuan peppercorns that's supposed to make your mouth tingle when you eat it. It got, like I said, peppercorns, peanuts, Toasted sesame seeds, scallions, and chicken. I've had had Szechuan peppercorns in the past, and they do make your mouth tingle. So let's see. That's very different, but it's very good. I like that, for real. I don't think it's enough peppercorns, because I had three bites, and my mouth is not tingling at all. And it's not spicy. It's flavorful, but it's not spicy or tingling like they said it was going to be, to me. It is good, though, but I was expecting some heat. 7 out of 10. Buttered chicken ramen. I'm actually not going to try this right now because I'm full. I have the Pop-Tarts, the chicken, those potatoes. This is pretty though, but I ain't going to try it right now. I'll try it later. I did just say I'm full, but I just looked in the bag. They throwing these rolls and I'm a sucker for bread. Bread is my weakness. And they snuck this in. I told them not to throw in nothing free, but I see why they did it. This is the best thing I had there. It's a little spicy. It's sweet. It's like some kind of honey butter on it. Soft, pillowy. These are delicious. Nine out of 10. I'm taking all of these with me. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. It's official. I mess with y'all. I'm about to show y'all one of my favorite spots here in Vegas. This is a personal favorite that I was going to keep on a down low. But it's about that time. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. I spent around $42.64. I'm gonna show you everything I got. Every time I go, I always get the Shang beef noodle with the knife cut noodles. Cause they made the noodles in house. You can get knife cut, hand pulled, or they got like frozen noodles, but I always get either knife cut or hand pulled. Today, I tried to be adventurous because in my mind, I was like, why would I do a taste test on something I get weekly? So I also got the pork rib noodle, but I can't tell the difference. Just the one, this, this hurt. I was wrong. I thought that was the beef shank, but it was the pork rib. They looked the same to me though. But this whole time I thought I was eating the beef shank first and the pork rib second, but I wasn't. I was eating the pork rib first and the beef shank second. Look, you gonna see. It's been a long day. Cut me some slack. The noodles come separate. This is a knife shaved noodle. This the hand pulled noodle. Now this is how I like to eat it. I take half of the noodles. I like to split them right down the middle. They be sticky because again, they like fresh noodles. My hands clean. It's my food, girl. Put it on top of the noodles, like that. I just take the broth and I pour it right on top. 
like that. This is a 9.5, and I ain't even tried it because it's always consistent. The only reason it's not a 10 because it's really, really heavy, in my opinion. After I eat this, I'm sleep for the whole night. Again, I'm talking as if I was eating a beef shank, but the whole time I'm eating a pork rib. But the broth is so salty and, like, homey. Mm-hmm. Look. These noodles, it's like that MSG. This ain't salt. It's like that umami salt. <laughs> I will absolutely admit when I'm wrong. This is what I usually get. The one I get usually don't have bones in it. It's all right. I make mistakes. Everybody make mistakes. We all make mistakes. And it absolutely makes sense why I got a bone in it. It's a pork rib. This is a beef shank. It tastes the same to me. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Let me see if I'm dripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. This is my favorite. This is a 9.8. If that's a 9.5, this is a 9.8 for sure. Because the rating still saying on that because it is delicious. This, this that thing. Again, it's real heavy, so I can't get a 10, but this that thing. Even though I mixed up the noodles. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you. This is a for real, for sure. Okay, I'm taking both of these with me. God bless you. Have an amazing night. Y'all be safe. Is this barbecue from Mama Bird worth $150? We about to find out together. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. I'm not rating the customer service because they recognize me and it's a possibility I could have got a biased experience. But heart to heart, they were amazing. They was playing with my kids. They made me feel like family. I loved every bit of it. North South fries. They're half crinkle cut fries and half sweet potato fries. Sweet potato. The sweet potato is missing some character from me. Like it don't have much seasoning. It's cool though. I get a sweet potato, a six out of 10. But on the other hand, a crinkle cut fry is seasoned. So it's a little bit better. 6.5 out of 10. Big old watermelon. It's a big watermelon slice that come with honey and lime. To be fair, you get two pieces this size, but it's $8. What got my curiosity rolling is the honey. I ain't never had watermelon with honey before. I'm only gonna put a little bit though, just to be safe. And some lime. This is new for me. I ain't never had nothing like this. Okay, you got it. This is probably something y'all been doing, but it's new to me. I, mm. At the end of the day, it's just watermelon, but the fact that it's with honey and lime, I've never had that before. So it's interesting to me. That gets a seven out of 10, because again, it's just watermelon. A everything biscuit, she said it's like an everything bagel, but in biscuit form. Usually it would come with jalapeno cornbread, but they was out of it today. So it also come with butter, but I'm gonna try it by itself first. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The pros is very buttery and flavorful. The cons, I personally don't like everything bagel. It's way too much. It's like overkill. But if you like everything bagel, I can see you falling in love with that. But for me, that's a 2.5 out of 10. But again, if you were everything bagel person, I can see that being like an eight or a nine. And for price reasons, it came with four biscuits. Just because we trying to see if it's worth the price, you, you get it. Ooh wee, this is brisket and ribs. It's a whole slab of ribs and a whole pound of brisket. This say house barbecue sauce. He said it's sweet and spicy. I'm gonna go brisket first. Oh, okay, wait. Ribs, I put everything in sauce before you say something. Let's start with the brisket. In my eyes, it's extremely tender. It's falling apart. It's seasoned great. I get at an 8.9 out of 10. The ribs on the other hand, flavor wise are a little underwhelming, but they got a great bite to them. Like they tender. So for that, I give an 8.5 out of 10. Collard greens with bacon. Now nah, I don't play about no collards. I ain't never have and I never will. They're a little too oily for me and a little too spicy. They more spicy than they are seasoned, but they're not terrible. That gets a 6.5 out of 10. Mac and cheese. I think those are saltine crackers on top. I don't like mac and cheese with any kind of topping, so I'm already kind of out. Let's see. The flavor cool though. That is indeed a cracker on top. The presentation is way worse than the actual taste because it don't taste that bad. I just don't like the crackers on top. It's better than the greens though, in my opinion. 6.8 out of 10. We also got two Oreo red velvet cakes in a jar. I'm not gonna eat these right now because I got a whole bunch of barbecue to eat first. And then I'll probably come back and do this later. So the golden question, was it worth it? I don't know, you tell me. God bless you, have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. I post a full review every day and it's been about a month and a half since I've given anything a 10 out of 10. So it's easy to say that that's a rare occasion. Today is one of those occasions. 
I got one of my favorite food items from a local spot here in Vegas. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. Actually, we're not going to rate it 1 through 10. This is a 10 already. I'm going to just tell you why I think it's a 10. This is a blueberry chicken sandwich from Smoke and Fire here in Vegas. They come in chicken sandwich form and slider form. We had these catered at our wedding back in 2020. For three sliders, it's $14.99. For the sandwich, it's $17.99. And I know that's expensive. It's crazy. $17 for a sandwich. Who about to spend $17 on a sandwich? Me. <laughs> I've contemplated so long about posting this because this is truly one of my favorites. But every time I drive past, it don't be a lot of people in there. I went in there today and there was like 10 people in the entire dining room. In my eyes, with this product alone, it should be a line wrapped around the corner 24-7. When the whole chicken sandwich craze was going on, nobody was talking about this and it was blowing my mind. It's jalapenos, fried chicken, fresh blueberries, a blueberry sauce on the bottom. And I know you like blueberries and chicken that don't go together. It's like sweet, spicy, salty. Hold on, watch, hold on. Look at the sauce hanging out the back. This is one of them ones. I can't even believe I'm even telling y'all about this. They also come in slider form. This is what we had at our wedding. We got a bunch of them. I think we got like 100 of them. Now it's a barbecue spot, so they serve a whole bunch of different items. I'm not a huge fan of anything else. Like I am a fan of this. That's why this is the only thing I grabbed when I went. So I can't speak for nothing else but that sandwich. But that sandwich is a 10 out of 10. Absolutely. I truly believe in God and I truly believe he gave me this platform to do exactly what I'm doing right now. This is a local restaurant that if you know about it, you know about it. And after this, I really hope a lot of people know about it. What's in the bag? I don't know. Just a steak sandwich made on homemade Japanese bread with homemade potato chips and a bunch of other stuff. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. This is from a place named Yu. It's a ghost kitchen, so it's inside an Italio restaurant over on Eastern. Since it is inside another restaurant, I personally recommend just getting it on delivery, like on Grubhub or DoorDash. I don't know where exactly they deliver, but I think DoorDash, Uber Eats, stuff like that. But with that being said, the people who helped me were extremely helpful. Like customer service, through the roof. Throw it out the roof. I spent $54.14. Togarashi potato chips. Again, these are made in-house. I knew how potato chips were made, but the fact this a whole potato just cut in half. Like, look at the skin. Like, I know what a potato chip is, but to see it like this, it's kind of crazy. Crazy good, too. Mm -hmm. That's a damn good potato chip, for real. 8 out of 10. Be careful, though. They do got a little kick to them. Like, back here, a little spice. <coughs> I'm a sucker for packaging. This is the steak sando or a steak sandwich. It is $20 for this, but you get a half pound of steak, an onion jam, and an au jus in this little capsule. Like you just spread it right on top. <sighs> Correction, this is a secret sauce, not an au jus. I don't know where I got au jus from. Now I do wish that this piece was a little thicker. For $20, just a thin little piece. You get three of them, but they are real small. It's so much flavor. It's absolutely quality over quantity for me. That steak is delicious and juicy. This sauce is good. This onion jam is spicy and flavorful. I personally understand the price point because the quality is really good, but I also understand not getting a price point because $20 for a sandwich is crazy. I'm not in the convincing business. If you want to try it and a foodie and you like, hey, I want to see if this is worth $20 to me, go do it. If not, please don't DM me talking about, I wasted $20 because you said this sandwich was good. If you notice, I ain't never told nobody to do nothing. God is amazing. This is just my opinion. If you want to try it, be my guest. If not, don't. Thank you. So for me, that gets an 8.3 out of 10. This is a spicy chicken sandwich. It's panko crusted deep fried chicken thighs, a spicy mayo cabbage slaw, pickled daikon and carrots with a thyme katsu sauce. Now this one was a lot cheaper. This was $10.99. Out of all the fried chicken sandwiches I've ever had, that's the most unique. The range of flavor you get from the slaw, the sauce, and the chicken is incredible. I not only like the sandwich itself, I like that price point. I'm gonna get it at an 8.5 out of 10. Last but not least, a pork belly rice box. This is braised pork belly, that same pickled daikon and carrots with rice with feta kake on top, which according to Google is a seaweed seasoning. It's an acquired taste, but I love me some feta kake. For real. For sure. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh, I love that pickled daikon. You get the spicy from the pork, the salty from the rice, the vinegar from the pickled daikon. I like that a lot. I've been saying that this whole time, but this food is good to me. This is an 8 out of 10. I'm taking it with me, too. A lot of people who follow me come to Vegas and they don't leave the trip. 
So I got one of the most interesting places that I've ever seen on the trip. It's called Best Friends and it's inside Park MGM. When you first walk in, it looked like a convenience store, but you gotta walk through these red curtains and the back is a full DJ booth and a full restaurant. I got it, let's try it, and rate it one through 10. I spent $139.80. Fried chicken, it came with sweet and sour chili and honey mustard. I'm gonna try it by itself first. This is sweet chili. Mm hmm Honey mustard. Ooh. That honey mustard got a kick. The color scared me. I thought it was gonna be bland and not taste like nothing. I was pleasantly surprised. It was seasoned, crunchy, delicious. I really liked the sweet chili more than the honey mustard because the honey mustard had a kick, but it was like a horseradish kick, so it was like bitter. The chicken by itself, get an eight out of 10. The honey mustard, get a four out of 10. The sweet chili, get a seven and a half out of 10. Barbecue Calbee, I got white rice on the side, but it was $3 extra. These short ribs, some of them look real fatty. Like, that's all fat. Mm-hmm, that's a little too much fat for me. Let me get another piece, that was all fat. That was more like it. It got some onions in here too, I love onions. The flavor is good, but compared to other short ribs I've had, that fat ratio is way too high for me. It's like 50-50, 50% meat, 50% fat. For that reason, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. The flavor is good though. Short rib tacos, this Korean barbecue with cilantro, onion, lime, and a chili soy slaw. I'm not sure what that is, but it looked good. The lime is the biggest flavor component that I taste. I'm not a huge fan of these huge pieces of radish. I understand, but I feel like these should be cut just a little thinner for me. It's a cool taco though. I wouldn't be mad if I got that. That's like a seven out of 10. Elote, which is corn, mayo, cojita cheese, lime, and chili powder. In this case, they use tahini. I love a good elote. This is as good as any corn man I've ever had. I ain't really been to many restaurants that can do elote well. A lot of places that do elote be like over the top or like extra. The reason elote is so good to me is because it's simple and the flavors really work with each other. That's a great example of that. That's a good elote. 8.5 out of 10. French fries, they got ramen seasoning on top and they come with a sambo mayo. Now I will give these the benefit of the doubt because I should have tried them first, but they was at the bottom of the bag. So I honestly forgot I ordered them. Hey, the way that these are seasoned, I can see when these fresh, it's probably like close to a nine. Shit, even when they cold, they still a 8.2 out of 10 for sure. And for dessert, a mango cheesecake. I don't really taste mango, but cheesecake wise, that's a cool cheesecake. The graham cracker crust is really good, but it's very thin. I wish it was a little thicker in my opinion, but overall it was good cheesecake. I just can't give it a super high rating because it's supposed to be mango and I didn't really taste any mango. 6.8 out of 10. A date cake. This is a cake made out of dates. Daniel was the guy that worked there and he said this tastes like a brownie to him. It sure do look like a brownie. Okay, Daniel, this is a brownie, for real. And he said if you eat it inside there, they have like a caramel ice cream. Yeah, that's great. If I was to go back and I wanted to order dessert, I'm getting that before the cheesecake any day, easily. That's an 8.3 out of 10. Now, was this food worth $140? In my opinion, no, but close. If I had to put a personal price range on it, I would say that was worth anywhere from 80 to like 110, 120. So I'm not too far off. The food was really good. And I can imagine sitting down and it'd be fire. I just moved to a new area. So you know what that mean? Brand new food to try. I got it. Let's try it and rate it one through 10. I spent $97.16. The name of the place is Le Cafe de Sud. I asked an employee how to say it and that's how he told me to say it. Customer service was quick but amazing. I got $100 worth of food and it took about 15 minutes. But again, we know what we're here for. I'm going to show you everything I got and we're going to try it and rate it 1 through 10. A fruit cup, it was raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, and bananas. It is just fruit, but the sign of a great cafe is fresh fruit. And this is fresh. I do like the choices of assorted fruit, but at the end of the day, it's just fruit. 7 out of 10. Oh, shit. Bacon and Brie Eggs Benedict. It's like $14, but it comes with two pieces this size. Ooh. Wait, the egg didn't pop the way it was supposed to. Hold on. Oh! That's close to perfection. The egg is cooked perfectly. I love the brie. That bacon crispy. We starting high. 9.2 out of 10. Egg croissant sandwich. Personally, I wasn't a fan of that at all. My wife in the backseat now. <laughs> it wasn't really seasoned and the eggs was a little slimy. 3 out of 10. Faux chocolate croissants. Mmm, you want to try it? And this Ronnie's favorite drink is a dirty iced chai latte from Starbucks. Got it? 
-hmm. If you a fan of chocolate croissants, you gonna love this. 8.5 out of 10. Last but not least, a ham, egg, and cheese galette. I ain't never had this before. She told me it's just like a savory crepe. Hmm. 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 I like the toppings, like the ham and the cheese. You can tell they're real fresh. But the bread of the actual galette is very grainy. It has like a sand texture, and I'm a texture person. I'm not a fan. According to Google, galettes are made out of buckwheat flour, and buckwheat flour is made of ground seeds. So that would explain the texture. If you grew up eating galettes, or this is one of your favorites, there is no intended disrespect. These are just my own personal taste buds and my own personal preferences. Four out of 10. And I also got four orange juices. This is one of them. God bless you, have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. The other day I was grabbing shoes for a bunch of my nephews. I ran into this 19 year old kid who says his family owns a taco shop. He said it's really slow and he would love for me to come and try it. So I got it. Let's try it and rate it one through 10. He told me he worked here seven days a week while still trying to go to school. It's him, his parents and his brother. I asked him how busy do it get? He said it's on and off, it's not consistent because they in a bad area. Then I looked it up. I lived in this area for six years. <laughs> he was like, it's in a hood. I guess I was living in a hood. <laughs> I spent $38.71. I did two transactions because the first one, he didn't let me tip. I got one of these and I tipped $30. So that goes without saying, the customer service was fire. I'm gonna show you everything I got and we're gonna try it and rate it one through 10. I'm sitting in the car because it's a 30 minute drive home. I want this food hot. A side of chips, three burrito tacos, three mo burrito tacos, three soft tacos, one chicken, one asada, one al pastor. Then he gave me two sides of consomme and a bunch of salsa. All of this for 30 some dollars is crazy. Oh yeah, it's hot too. That's exactly why I sit in the car. Oh, damn. I'm gonna do the Al Pastor first. Excuse me, correction. That was the asada first. Now I'm gonna do the al pastor. <laughs> you better like that, man. Chicken. Mmm. This is the chips and guac. I'm gonna go in order from my least favorite to my most favorite. And I'm gonna be 100% honest and give you my opinion. First, we're gonna start with the chicken taco. It was good, but it did like a little seasoning for me. But at the end of the day, it's still a solid chicken taco. Six and a half out of 10. Next is the chips and guac. I wish the chips had a little bit more salt, but I did like the guacamole. Seven out of 10. Next is the al pastor. Very seasoned, very tender. I like it a lot. 7.5 out of 10. Next is the asada. Seasoned well, exactly what you expect from an asada taco. 8.6 out of 10. Last but not least, the birria tacos. From the consomme to the actual meat itself, absolutely delicious. And I don't say that lightly. 9.4 out of 10. I will be back specifically for those tacos. When I walked in, you could tell he was in disbelief. He didn't think I was actually gonna come. He thought I was all talk when I saw him at the sneaker store and I told him I was gonna come and support him and his family, especially if the food is as good as he say it is. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it is. And I truly can't believe that that dining room was empty. I pray and I hope after this, that changes. I appreciate every last person on this journey with me. God bless you, y'all be safe. Y'all have an amazing day. Oh, what? I'm about to go shake this hand. Hold on. Did you put something in your car, bro? Or you, mm -hmm. you want yeah. me to give you a towel, bro? Nah, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. I just got it on the steering wheel. Right. Yeah, it's cool. Tell him to come here so I can shake his hand. <laughs> yeah, you said that on as, soon, as soon as you're done, look. That's all I need. Yeah. God bless you, bro. I appreciate you. Y'all be safe. This food is from a brand new Creole restaurant here in Vegas. It's called The Pink Potato. The owner is Haitian, but she's from New York. They just opened, and I have never been more excited to try some food. I got it, let's try it and rate it one through 10. The reason behind my excitement was the customer service. It was phenomenal. I don't think I've ever used that word before to describe customer service. The mom who's the owner, she has no idea who I am. She is not on social media at all. But she came out, she gave me my food. She offered to give me two drinks, a fresh mango juice and a tea that she really recommended. She said this got ginger, cloves, a bunch of stuff in it that's really good for you. She then said, before you leave, I like to take pictures with a lot of my customers. Do you mind if I take a picture with you? Then I said, of course. She danced her way all the way over to where we was gonna take the picture at. We took the picture and she gave me a hug and said, thank you for coming. 
Again, don't know who I am, never been on social media. But her daughter is a rapper and she knew who I was. She was gonna show her my TikTok and I told her not to. I want her to be completely surprised when she see this review. She did ask me if I can do her a favor and leave a Yelp review or a Google review to help her business. If only she knew, God is amazing. I'm gonna show you everything I got and we're gonna try it and rate it one through 10. The total is $85 flat. Creole stew chicken, Creole stew steak, steamed veggies, curry chicken, rice and peas, plantains, more rice and peas, three sides of pink potato salad. That's another reason why I'm the most excited to try this food. All of that food for $85? If this food is good, bro, <laughs> I swear if this food is good. I forgot, before I left, I overheard they had oxtail, so I added this to another bill. This was $20. Just a curry steak. It looks delicious. I'm not even guessing. Rice and peas. The stewed chicken, I'm gonna eat everything with the rice and peas. Huh. Curry chicken. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oxtail. I'm not a huge fan of that one. The pink potato salad, I don't know what make it pink, but. Plantains. Ooh. Salty. Steamed veggies. This with the steak though. A little bit of veggies. And some rice and peas. Yes, Lord. The ginger and clove tea. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Fresh mango juice. That's thick. That's real thick, but it's good. It was a lot of food, so I'm gonna go one by one from my least favorite to my favorite. And I'm gonna get my honest opinion. Starting off with the oxtail. A lot of pieces that I got were very fatty and a lot of them lacked seasoning. Five out of 10. Next was the pink potato salad. It grew on me after a couple bites because at first it was a lot sweeter than any potato salad I've ever had. But after a few bites, I liked it. Seven out of 10. Next was the mixed vegetables. They were just mixed vegetables. They were seasoned well though. 7.2 out of 10. Next were the plantains. They were seasoned, crispy, and cooked really well. 7.8 out of 10. Now we get to the heavy hitters, the curry chicken. A great amount of spice. And a potato and a chicken, super tender. 8.5 out of 10. Both drinks were really good in their own way. The mango was a little thicker than I was expecting, but super refreshing. Especially that being cold on a hot day, I can imagine that being gas. 8.9 out of 10. The tea tastes like it's really good for you. You can taste the ginger and the cloves. That also gets an 8.9 out of 10. The rice and peas. I don't even like peas, but that right there, outstanding. 9.3 out of 10. Last but not least, and in my opinion, the star of the show, Creole stew steak. Before I get to that, I completely forgot to mention the Creole stew chicken, which is also one of my favorites. It was a 9.6 out of 10. It was absolutely delicious. That steak was so tender and cooked perfectly. It was spicy, it was salty. I don't even want to talk about it no more. I just want to get off here and eat. 9.8 out of 10. When I tell you this with the rice and peas and the vegetables was one of the best combinations I've had in years. <laughs> this the one. <laughs> this the one. <laughs> to see that amount of love and excitement go into a business and that business be empty in the middle of the day breaks my heart. But as always, I pray and I hope that after this, that changes. She told me tomorrow's her birthday and they having a celebration there. I don't do social events, so I won't be attending. But I left her number right here. If y'all want to call her and say happy birthday, I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Because I'm calling as soon as they open in the morning. God bless you. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. I'm in some random parking lot because I wanted to eat this while it was hot. I spent $81.20. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. This is from a place called Secret Pizza inside the Cosmopolitan. I heard nothing but great things about it though. I got one in each slice, so let's try it. Cheese deep dish. It's only been five minutes since I picked this pizza up and it's already kind of cold. In my opinion, that's extremely basic. It don't really taste like much. Three out of 10. Classic pepperoni. I literally don't taste the sauce at all. It's just cheese and meat. It's cool. 3.5 out of 10. It do got a little bit of spice on the back end, but $90 pizza, I'm not seeing it so far. Cheese pizza. Everybody's taste buds are completely different. So not to say anybody who tried this and liked it is lying, 
But me personally, I'm not a fan. One out of 10. Classic white pizza. I need to wash that out of my mouth. In my opinion, the ricotta cheese they use is so bland. And the texture is really mushy. I don't taste anything but like mushy, wet cheese. Zero out of 10. I'm also keeping in mind that this is shrimp food. Even if my expectations were here, I'm like at it here. Meat lover's pizza. That by far is the best one. That's the only one I can see myself finishing. Six out of 10. Sausage. Ooh, okay. They sausage is good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now I will call myself a fan of that sausage. It's spicy, it's flavorful. It's pretty good. 6.5 out of 10. Honestly, that's probably what make the meat lovers good. That sausage is fire. Veggie. Okay. This one is very biased because I like onions and bell peppers. I can see some people not liking that and people who like vegetables really liking that because it's like a 6.2 out of 10. Mushroom. I love mushrooms, but those pieces are cut up way too small. I can barely taste them. And that cheese just not good enough to stand on its own, in my opinion. Two out of 10. Last but not least, mushroom and pepperoni. The pepperoni does help a little bit because it brings more flavor, but it's still not great though. 3.5 out of 10. Overall, will I be going back? Probably not. But if I didn't live here and I was only here for a few days, I would go check it out, especially if I was close by. Because like a lot of things on the trip, you just go for the vibes. And is this going to be the first time that a random IG ad influenced me to go get some food and I actually liked it? I don't know. Let's find out. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. I was scrolling on IG and this place called The Coffee Class popped up and it was showing homemade Pop-Tarts. That was enough to sell me. So I went and got it. I spent about $80, but I got food for everybody. So I'm going to just show you the food that I got for myself. A lychee green tea that the lady threw in for free because she said it was hot outside. She had no idea who I was. Her customer service was just amazing. Ooh, that's real green tea. That's strong. Personally, it just tastes like green tea to me. I don't really taste the lychee, but it is refreshing, especially because it's hot outside today. Seven out of 10. A fruit cup. It looked like just pineapples and grapes. Ooh, where did they get them grapes from? A farmer's market? They big. I had a fruit cup at the other place and I rated it last time. I'm not going to rate this. It's fruit. <laughs> I'm going to just rate it whatever you think a pineapple and a grape is and leave it like that. A Rice crispy Pop-Tart. On their website, it said they got a strawberry shortcake Pop-Tart that I really wanted to try. But she said it was all sold out today. So I got this instead. The icing on top is a little sweet for my liking, but it's a great filling that makes that really balanced. 8.5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. A strawberry croissant. This thing looks heavenly. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bro, what is this? This is one of the best pastries I've ever had in my life. And I don't mean that lightly. 9.8 out of 10. A little bit of salt makes this a 10. One thing, it is messy though. I just turned into a powdered donut. A bacon and egg strudel. Hmm. You can see I'm starting to lean in my chair because I'm starting to get the itis. At first, I wasn't a huge fan of the scrambled egg because sometimes when you put scrambled eggs in pastries, they tend to get a little moist, like they make the whole pastry moist. So it kind of throws off the texture and I'm a texture person, but that bacon and a crispiness on the actual pastry itself saved it for me. Eight out of 10. Last but not least, a tofu strudel. And it's the homemade tofu strudel. Like it's thick. It's filled with something. That has no choice but to be a certified for show. You're right on. Absolutely. Again, the icing is a little sweet, but that feeling for me is perfectly balanced. I'm gonna give it to him. IG ain't miss on this one because it's a 9.3 out of 10. I think I gave all of them really high ratings. Rightfully so, because all of that was delicious. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. I got the spiciest chicken at this place sale. They made me sign a waiver. They gave me gloves and they gave me ice cream. I got it. Let's try it and rate it one through 10. This place is called Houston Hot Chicken. I've been here before, but last time I got the second to spiciest tender. This time I got the spiciest. I got six tenders gradually going up in heat. We are gonna try them and rate them one through 10. He really made me sign a waiver for the last one. Like, uh, and then the only thing that helps you is gonna be like ice cream. And gave me ice cream, a whole thing of ice cream and a drink. He was like, bro, you gonna need them. <laughs> they marked the spice level so I don't get confused. No spice. I'm a sauce dipper. I'm dipping everything in sauce. 
my glove broke that was very well seasoned it was juicy that's a really good chicken tender flavor 7.5 out of 10 spice 0 out of 10 my out that's my out that already got some spice on it but right now it's a good spice it still got flavor flavor wise i like that better than the first one eight out of ten spice wise 2.5 out of ten medium we are already getting spicy i can just tell by looking at it i think i ate those backwards because that's not nearly as spicy as the mild spice one out of ten flavor 7.8 out of ten now this box is where we start playing spicy I'm genuinely starting to regret this. That one got a good spice. It's not, oh my God, yeah, it is. I was about to say it's not crazy spicy, but the more it built, it's very crazy. For my personal order, I wouldn't go no higher than that. That's the spiciest, and that's if I'm feeling real spicy. Spice level, six out of 10. Flavor level, it's still cool. That's like a 7.9. It tastes good, it's just afterwards. Like, oh, I'm scared for these next two. This is a blueberry lavender. I did this before and it's the same thing. I don't know why I did this again. I'm genuinely, genuinely regretting this. Lift off the second to spices. This is spices I got last time. And this was crazy if I remember right. Oh, there it go. I remember that's why they call it lift off. It start here and get here real fast. I have officially broken to a full sweat. Spice level, 7.5 out of 10. Flavor level, 7 out of 10. I gotta let my mouth cool down before I go to that last one. My nose starting to run. Damn, it just keep getting worse. Ah, I need the ice cream. Oh, that's some damn good ice cream though. It's always been a dream of mine to go on hot ones. And this is making me rethink that dream. Bro, look at that. Houston, we have a problem. This is scorpion pepper and Carolina Reaper. I don't even play with spice like that. So I ain't never had neither of those. I've heard horrible things about them though. I'm not taking it. I don't give I don't care what nobody say. I'm not taking that big of a bite. Oh no. Oh no. Why was I about to take the glove off? Oh God. Oh. Oh, I don't even. Oh, oh, oh! Ah. I think everything happened for a reason, but that's the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Flavor zero, spice ten. Ah, ah! That's the spiciest thing I've ever had in my life. Ah. 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 Hot ones. I'm never going on hot ones. I'm never going on hot ones. I'm never going on hot ones. Mm -mm. It's like, ah, I just gotta keep eating ice cream. The second the ice cream melt. Mm -hmm -hmm. I ate this whole cup of ice cream and my mouth is still on fire. I'm not joking when I say I, that's the dumbest thing I've ever done. It's been 10 minutes. I got another ice cream. I completely ate the other one. Uh, I will never do that again. That's not even a joke or a game. I don't even play like that. I don't even know why I even... I thought it was a joke because the other one was hot, but it wasn't like... It... Wingstop got a new meal called the Wingstop Hot Box. So you know what that means. I got a new meal called the Wingstop Hot Box. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. I got an eight piece bone in all flats. It's topped with lit ranch, which is the ranch mixed with atomic seasoning, cheese dust, and herbs. I feel like they made this meal with people like me and mine. I've never been able to celebrate 420 because I don't partake, but I can celebrate with Wingstop. That I can. It's already drizzled in ranch, so I'm not gonna dip. For sure, you're right on. Fry. Mm? Oh yeah, I'm about to eat this whole box. Personally, I was skeptical because the atomic is way too hot for me. But mixing it with the ranch surprisingly calms down the spice a lot. For me, it's still spicy, but it's spicy enough to where I can actually taste flavor still. I get that whole meal a solid 9 out of 10. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe.